Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up and working with our drive-by wire throttle control once again in this training module utilizing our MoTeC M1 programming. Now, this training module, we're going to be focusing our efforts on setting up the throttle body itself with the MoTeC. So calibrating the PID control for the servo motor as well as setting up and calibrating the throttle position sensors within the throttle body. This is going to be the next component that we need to configure and set up in order for our control to work properly here in the drive-by wire control routine. Let's jump in and take a look at a schematic, find out what we have to work with in terms of our wiring and the components. Then we're going to jump into how to set up the drive-by wire with our throttle body. It's pretty simple, but there are a lot of specific details that we need to keep track of and to pay attention to. So first things first, uh, coming up on screen, our schematic is going to be showing us a couple different things. We're going to find we have our throttle body. We have our Excel pedal position sensor assembly. That's what we talked about in our last training module. We have our ECU, in this case, a MoTeC M150. We have all of, obviously our inputs and outputs that are wired between the throttle body and the MoTeC. In this schematic, there is a battery and there is a throttle motor relay, which we are not going to worry about here in terms of our MoTeC. This schematic was taken from an OEM schematic uh, from Nissan, so it's not going to exactly translate, but the idea of what we're trying to do here will actually translate um, the components and the subsystems that we're wiring in here. Okay, so taking a look at our schematic, we're going to be focusing our efforts right now on the throttle body assembly. So on the throttle body, we're gonna notice, first off, we have two throttle position sensors. There's a main and a sub. Both throttle position sensors are needed in order to have proper operation and drive by wire. OEM manufacturers always put two throttle position sensors in in case one fails. With the throttle position sensors on the throttle body, we're gonna find that they're actually inverses of each other. So when one is a low volt off throttle or closed throttle, the other one's a high volt. And as the throttle blade opens, then the one will go from low to high and the other one goes from high to low. So they're inverses of each other in terms of the voltage calibration. We'll learn how we can calibrate them. Very straightforward, very simple. But what we're gonna find here is that we have two signal wires that we have to wire from our throttle body to the MoTeC and that they're going to be labeled a TPS main and a TPS sub. Uh, my situation, I have wired my main to my analog voltage number nine, and then my sub is to my analog voltage number 10. Now, I just happen to know what is the main and the sub in terms of the output from the throttle body. If you did not know which is the main and the sub, MoTeC will be picky about the voltage for the calibration process, so expects that the main will go from low to high in voltage, and then the sub will go from high to low. So if you have them configured prop or configured incorrectly or you set up your wiring and you're not sure which is the main and the sub, you can figure it out once you go into the calibrate option and we'll talk about um, what to look for there, but it's not going to be a big deal if you don't, ha you don't know which is which. But in my case, I do. So analog nine is my main, analog 10 is my sub. Next, we have on our throttle body, a servo motor for control. We can see there's a positive and a negative, and that's controlled from outputs from the MoTeC. Now, the MoTeC is going to be using a full bridge output. A full bridge is compromised of two half bridges. So we have half bridge one and half bridge two, in my case, to control at a full bridge orientation, the throttle blade opening, opening or closing. So we have to go in and wire and configure that as well. Very straightforward, uh, simple to configure all of it, and we'll, we'll get into uh, what to do with that in a little bit here. Now the next thing we have to worry about is our 5 volt power reference and our sensor ground. Um, all of the throttle position sensors in the circuit, so the throttle body, throttle position sensors, and the Excel throttle position sensors, all will reference same 5 volt and the sensor ground. At least that's how I wire my particular vehicle here. So in this case, the 5 volt out, there's three 5 volt sources on my M150, an A, B, and C. I'm utilizing my B 5 volt and then the sensor ground, there's three options, a sensor ground, zero volt, A, B, and C. I've utilized the B for the zero volt sensor ground option. It's important to note where you have your sensor ground and your five volt because there's a tracking voltage option that we wanna program so it's pointing towards the correct ground path, the zero volt, where you've wired it, either A, B, or C, that renormalizes the voltage in the, the throttle position sensor tracking if there's some kind of an odd problem internally on the MoTeC, it can renormalize the actual sensor tracking, sensor percent movement 
so that there's no oddities in the control. So if you don't have that pointed to the correct ground path, the MoTeC won't be able to renormalize that if there's any oddities there. So important to note where you've wired things in terms of your pinouts and uh, your schematic. That's how I have wired and set up my particular uh, configuration here. I'm controlling a Nissan 350Z throttle body, Hitachi throttle body, and I'm using the Nissan 350Z Excel pedal assembly in my vehicle. So we've noted everything here. Let's jump in and now taking a look at calibrating and configuring this. So let's move from our tuning area here and let's jump into setup. And we're gonna move from our first window over here under basic setup and jump over here to throttle servo window. This is gonna be where we set up and control our drive-by-wire throttle assembly in setting up our throttle position sensors and our servo motor and all of the PID configurations. Now the very first thing we're gonna make sure that we do under our throttle area, we wanna make sure that this table is completely linear in terms of our throttle servo position percent and the values we place in here. Now this table should be popular. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.